Good morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a bit of a miserable looking Croatia today. If you've been following along, we were on the coast, we knocked off a fair few miles yesterday and we're somewhere inland in Croatia. I'm not sure where, but I'm sure there'll be a map or something on the screen now that tells you. We're currently attempting to drive from here in Croatia back to the UK by Christmas Eve. Now today is December the 14th. 14th. So we've got 10 days to do it, so it's not too far, but we do travel with a dog and a cat in a heavy old van that we've got to get through the snow over the Austrian mountains. So we've given ourselves a bit of time, haven't we? Yeah, well, the thing is, we've done this before, but the difference this time is that we're going at our own pace, it's our own choice, and we're doing it in our own van. Yes, so join us as we attempt to drive from Croatia through Slovenia, over the Austrian mountains, across Germany, across Luxembourg, up through Belgium, through France, and back to the UK by Christmas Eve. She's got this. Should we hit the road? Let's do it. Let's go. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Out of reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I become Right, so as we're going through Croatia, Slovenia, then Austria I believe we've got the geography right I've got the geography right um, We're going to stick to the toll road because I don't want to have another paddy and Louise doesn't want to see me have another paddy and go through that. <laughs> I want to go back down. I want to go back down now. Driving through the snow is fine. Driving through the snow with this one is not easy. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm like a dream. to Slovenia it was really quick really easy and the border was just on us we're in second so it was done we are now heading up Off she goes we're just pulling into the um, the service station so that we can get a vignette I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it vignette. yeah a vignette for Slovenia so that we can drive on the toll roads because it's not like the other ones where you get like a ticket you have to buy the vignette so in the garage I go Chap. Yeah? Yeah. Got your and vignette? Yeah, got my vignette. This is what has to stick on because they spy you out with the binoculars. <laughs> and how much was the vignette? Uh, 15 euros. For how long? Um, one week. 15 euros a week? For seven days, so. But that's really good, right? It's not bad, but if you had to buy one every week, it's a lot of money. But yeah, but I expect a bit like a um, Dartford Crossing where you get like... Ripped off. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I mean, Louise? A yearly thing, right? Should we yeah. go? Yeah, let's go. we've just pulled over for our first little pit stop of the day so far the roads are clear but there's been snow i'll show you in a second but some are completely unfazed by it all she travels so so well and emily's taken aj to stretch his little legs but yeah have a look so like i say the roads have been really clear really good but you can tell that they have had quite a bit of snow recently so we've got about a three day window I think before the temperatures severely drop to like major minuses and the snow comes back to get across Austria to Germany so we should be alright try to do all my driving between the hours of like 10 and 2 so the roads aren't frozen and if we get to our destination by 2 that gives me plenty of time to find a park up because we will need park ups that are right by the main road just in case because up in the mountains the weather can turn like that so I'm trying to be cautious like I say I don't really want to do more than three or four hours a day because because of AJ we need lots of little breaks for him so yeah, wait for them to get back and then back on the road.
I know we're gonna be doing a lot of driving, but it wouldn't be a camper vibe vlog without some fun facts now, would it? So I'm gonna give you one fun fact for every country that we go into. Uh, but I'm really sorry, Croatia, because I forgot. <laughs> and we're in Slovenia now, so we're gonna start with Slovenia. Fun fact number one, the population of Slovenia is 2.1 million. And to give you a little bit of context on that, the population of London is 9.4 million. That's ridiculous, right? Oh, that is crazy. Considering London's like tiny compared to the actual mass of Slovenia. It's, yeah, mental. And you can really see it by how much space they have here. It's amazing. Uh, there is a lot of space, but we're biased because we love it already. <laughs> <laughs> We found ourselves woken up in a serious amount of snow. No, only joking, we've driven just up the road from that car park and we are at Lake Bled. Now it'd be rude to drive through Slovenia again and not stop at one of the most picturesque lakes I've ever seen. It was a bit of a long day yesterday, so Google Maps said about three hours and 45 minutes. To us, that translates to about eight hours by the time You've added on the extra time because we, we're slow because of the van. We have to make multiple stops for AJ. We don't have to, but we like to. A couple of snack breaks. Obviously, we're both still working whilst on the road. So yeah, about eight hours. Finally got there. And we're going to quickly show you this place. Slovenia, you are extremely lucky because I'm going to give you your second fun fact. So on Lake Bled there is an island and on that island there are several buildings but it's mainly known for the church which is still an active church. So they still have weddings, funerals, christenings, everything like that there which is so beautiful. But one of the traditions is that the groom would carry the bride up 99 stairs to the top of the tower to ring the bell and make a wish. How cool is that? Quite romantic right? But there's no way that I'd be carrying the snack bandit up 99 flight. You'd have to go off the snacks for at least three weeks before <laughs> I attempted to hoist her up them stairs. I think that's true, actually. I'm not even going to dispute that. I'm only joking. Right, let's hit the road. Let's off we go. Things time will tell, we might never know. We'll be gone before it all begins. So we thought we got to the border of Slovenia and Austria and we're in a queue but it turns out it's a tunnel and it was seven euros something? Yes, yeah, 7.50. 7.50, no idea what tunnel it is. I'm sure it's some sort of famous tunnel. I'm expecting it to be good though for seven euros 50. That's more expensive than the Dartford tunnel. And there's a queue. And yeah, I just said we're in a queue. Oh. Do you not listen to me? She never listens no, to me. No, I try not to. I try to zone her out. I'll teach you that. Teach us how to do it. Yeah, take, 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 take. Just. Shut up! I'm distracted. <laughs> We're gonna go through the tunnel. So not only are you getting a fun fact for every country, I'm even giving you a bonus border fun fact right now. So we've just gone through a tunnel, and it's called Cabaranks. Does she now? 
Oh, I uh, you're putting me off now. It's a tunnel that runs from Slovenia to Austria or Austria to Slovenia and it's 7.8 km in length which is 4.8 miles. So and it takes you under the mountains rather than over them. Oh, and I think now we've got to get up on so. Yeah, we're at border crossing so end of the border fun bags. So we've just pulled over at our first Austrian petrol station, gas station, Rust station, I believe it's called here. Uh, Emily's gone in to buy our second vignette of the trip. You need a vignette to drive on Austrian motorways as well. I've got to be honest, I'm preferring the vignette system. Once you buy the vignette, you know how much it's going to cost you and you can just go. You haven't got to keep stopping and paying and thinking, well, how much is it going to cost to go on there? So yeah, vignette's a winner for me. Mind you saying that, I don't know how much it's going to cost you. Here she comes. Now she's spent all of our euros again. Oh, she's coming in that way. How much? Uh 960 euros but the best part about it is there's two machines a tall one and a little one is there really yeah. oh you have to buy them ah uh, i don't know if you can see on this yeah there's the machines just there did you go to the little person one obviously it's easier <laughs> 960 for how long uh 10 days 10 days so... on a par with slovenia then yeah well, yeah it's cheaper I don't know if this GoPro is going to do justice to the amount of snow that's here. Now, as a British person, obviously this amount of snow makes me panic because, you know, four snowflakes are where I'm from and everything just shuts down. So, yeah, going to keep moving. Emily's taken AJ for a walk. He absolutely loves playing in the snow. And I mean, he sees it and he just gets so excited and he can see it out the windows while we're driving. So he just wants to constantly keep stopping. So we are doing that for him. Uh, I think the rest of the way to our park up, we've got... We was going to have maybe a day or two in Austria, but the weather forecast has drastically changed now. So the snow is coming tomorrow. So we're going to try and find a park up kind of near the motorway. Hopefully the snow won't just arrive tonight and we'll still be able to get out of Austria and into Germany tomorrow. Um, but I think the rest of this drive is just going to be the snowy highway, which you've already seen. So if there's something amazing, we'll film it. If not, we will see you at hopefully a half decent Austrian park up. So we have arrived and I'm not going to lie to you, I'm in bed because I had a little nap. <laughs> I got a little bit tired from all the driving. So we found a park up that looks reasonably safe. I'm not sure about in Austria what the rules are, but quite a lot of them along this main road have got restrictions. So we'll have to check that out, but we're only here for one night. Emily's down the end. She is on Christmas present duty. Very exciting times. Um, obviously, because we thought we wasn't going to be in the country, we didn't buy anyone any Christmas presents and now we're rushing home. Oh, <laughs> our first port of call was to be my sister's house so we're getting them all delivered there and hopefully they'll all come in time for the big day amazon prime baby amazon prime aj's down here on snore patrol i've never known a dog snore so loud but he does and then summer's up here on relax patrol because that's what she does best so we believe to be able to stay here we have to go to the restaurant what a shame we're gonna have to go and have a meal out but I'm, to be honest i'm looking out the window it doesn't look open so we're gonna go and suss that out then get an early night and if you like the snow you've seen so far, you're going to like it here. And boy, am I glad we bought those snow boots. But we'll show you all that tomorrow before we get back on the road and head into Germany. Bring on the snow boots. Don't 
beard, look. My knees have been waist. <laughs> oh, it's meant to be cooler than that. Oh, dear. Help me up. No, you've got to stay there. <laughs> Fun facts. <laughs> Fun fact, Emily is not cool. <laughs> Get away from the camera. <laughs> One way to work off the burger and chips. I tell you what, that's a work out of half. Oh look, if I, I dig it, if, I, high. if I dig a hole. How's that? Yeah. About that height. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, we have woke up in a considerable amount of snow and we are absolutely loving it, aren't we? Oh God, it's such a winter wonderland. It's great to lead up to Christmas. Um, a lot of you are wondering why the hell we're rushing home instead of going to the nice warmth of Turkey to get back to the cold, wet, miserable England. And that is so that we can get the van prepped so that we can get straight back out and we can do stuff like this. Oh, I'm so excited, honestly. Um, we didn't prep the van before we come because this one didn't like the snow. No. It was only when we got here that she realised that she absolutely loves it. And we don't want to be restricted to having to go to Turkey, Morocco or basically Spain. And that'd be our options. And with the Schengen, we're already restricted enough. So we just want to have that flexibility to be able to stay in places like this. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be going, why the hell are you panicking about the snow? The roads are clear. It's not so much the snow, it's the sub-zero temperatures. Our van will not hold out for very long in those temperatures at all. The pipes will freeze, the tanks will freeze, the batteries will be too cold to charge, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna go and get that sorted as quickly as we can so that we can get back to playing in the snow. Oh, the excitement. And when she says we, she means her, because I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant playing the snow, you mean the conversion. <laughs> yeah. No, she's promised me she's gonna help. You're gonna help with all the adaptations. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. She might hold a paintbrush for a couple of days and that'll be about it. And even then, it's like an hour a day, isn't it? Oh, no, I've got stuff to do. Uh, so with that being said, we are going to hit the road because the snow is coming. Now, these countries are brilliant. They are well set up for this, but like the park-ups are off the main road. So if we, we could potentially get stuck, and mm. I just don't want to put us all through that. No. So on the road, we go into Germany. Germany. Right, let's go. Now, before we leave, I don't want to shatter anyone's illusion on how these YouTube videos are made, but I'm just about to pull away, and I don't know if you can hear it, but the engine's actually running. Now, I get a lot of grief in the comments every week about that I shouldn't cold start the van and just drive off. I don't. It would be a very boring video if every time I wanted to get a pulling away shot, I started the engine, sat there for five minutes, and then pulled off. So I run the engine, warm the van up, clear the screens, set up the camera, then I turn the engine off, turn the engine back on, and drive away. So I hope that hasn't ruined anything for anyone, but I just wanted to let you know that's what happens. And it's always a muggins here that has to run back and get you. And it's teamwork that makes the dream work. Let's go. You and I let us run away. We can go where we want. I'll have your bag if you have mine. You and I, you and I wanna leave everything behind. Austria, I haven't forgot about you. I've got two fun facts for you just because Louise likes one and I like one. So, the one that Louise likes the most is the fact that postcards were first used in Austria, which is quite cool. And then, the one that I like the most is that the sewing machine was made by an Austrian called Joseph Madasperger. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
<laughs> oh, tell me about it. Um, but anyway, I'm sure you lot have had enough of road footage now, motorway road footage, so we'll see you in Germany. down right then good morning and welcome to a very slightly warmer but much wetter and damper germany uh, we found this lovely little park up right on a lake just north of munich and one thing i always notice i'll show you even though we're by the city and it's very busy here and there's lots of housing and industry and whatnot the water is always so crystal clear you compare that to back home no matter where i seem to go certainly maybe not in scotland but certainly down where we live the water's always like this murky Sorry, there's red squirrels everywhere. There's a lot of nature here. Again, even by the city, yet back home, you know, the water's always, you wouldn't want to go swimming in it, put it that way. This looks lovely. I am going to show you something very similar to back home though. So this is the park up. It's just your bog standard, like, I don't know, country park, park up right next to the river, in amongst the trees. So we had a fairly decent night's sleep. We are by a main road, but that didn't really bother us. I think the trees kind of protect you from that. But much like the UK, you've got your usual, I don't know what that is, all kinds of rubbish there, a bit of pizza box there. Over here, you've got your common tissues and baby wipes, so that's always helpful. Another pizza box over there. More pizza box than McDonald's, so it's slightly different from home. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the as standard now, surgical masks, they seem to be absolutely everywhere. But what's really disappointing is there's a bin. There's a bin at the end of every single one of these rows for the parking, there's bins. So... Yeah, very much like the UK. Then over by the van, we've got a nice bit in there. Couple more pizza boxes. And I'll tell you what made me feel right at home. They use Johnny next to the van, so that's perfect. But what I popped on to say to you is we are gonna make our way now from here in Munich all the way over to the Black Forest. It's about a three and a half, so let's call it a four and a half hour run, maybe five hours. We've got a lot of boring work to do. We need to empty the toilet, get some water, all the boring jobs. So we're gonna put the camera down for today and then we're gonna pick you guys back up tomorrow, hopefully in a park up that's a little bit cleaner in the Black Forest, but we'll see. But I'm gonna pick up some of this crap first because, you know, it's just ridiculous. There's, like I say, there's red squirrels here everywhere. Never mind. right? see you tomorrow. Well, it wouldn't be us if this didn't happen, would it? Yeah, yeah, it sounds really loud. Yeah. <clears throat> so currently, we can only go in reverse we can't go forwards. So as you can see, we have broken down. Emily's just on the phone to the AA now. Hopefully someone will come and have a look. Um, so I'm gonna change the channel name to Breaking Down in every European country to test the search. So we're doing you a service. We're literally testing now the response times and the mechanic availability and quality in every single European country. So that's the new channel. So if you like this kind of stuff, please do consider hitting subscribe because yeah, next year we're going to the uh, Romania, Sweden, all of those. We're going to test them all out. I always feel vulnerable and unsafe when I'm with this one. Not the time. This is a new policy and a new cape. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was like over a year ago. I'm not, I'm not traveling anymore. That's it. I'm done. We only stopped off to have a shower and wash our hairs and stuff and look at the state of me. You done with van life? I'm done. Oh, I'm going back to tent life. <laughs> Screw it. She's just having a little paddy because the world's not going her way. <laughs> I am as well. I want to stamp my feet. Do this. 
I'm off to ring Joni. See what I have to put up with? You can drive without the handbrake. So it's the handbrake is completely shot. But it says he's going to take it away and then I can drive. I'll just have no handbrake. What? Maybe. What? It's all right. Germany's flat, babe. We'll be fine. No, no, she ain't going nowhere. If you are calling for a new breakdown and are not on a French motorway, please press 2. We might not make it home for Christmas. I'm done. <laughs>